everyone, it's Irene and I'm back with a little project share. I've been asked several times um, of what I do with all the pages I tear out out of all these books you see here. And I save all the pages um, for many things. I also definitely make sure that whatever I'm saving, it doesn't have words that would offend because there's some, sometimes you pick up a book for its binding, you know, I mean for the cover, and you're not really looking at the subject matter and then you bring it home and you find words that are not appealing and so when you do take that page and make embellishments or other things with it and someone actually sits down and reads what it's made out of it could be quite embarrassing at times of what's on these pages so I try to now really be mindful of what kind of books I bring home and if it's something that I really like to make a book out of I don't save those pages but these have been marked as safe and okay to read so um, this is what I do. Um, these are some of the booklets that I make and this is just a stamp that I have in my stash, pieces of a doily, an image. I sew the book together. I put 68 pages together. I sew down the middle. I round off out the corners and makes this really cute little booklet. I have quite a few of these as you can see. I stain it with my shoe polish that I get at Target and there's this binding right there I leave the threads on keeps it kind of authentic and then I put in these index cards that I punch out on top and it makes like a little journaling spot that you can tuck in into a book I usually just give these out as little gifts to people and you know it's uh, it's just a little something to say thank you I leave quite a few of these um, at the doctor's offices and I just put them in a little basket and it says to free to take and people do take them because I replenish them quite often um, it seems that the people that go there seems to be enjoying them because uh, I've been asked to continue filling up the little basket so this is just one of them here and here's another one I Mod Podged a napkin that was a leftover from a thing um, I also use uh, I know people use um, oh gosh cheesecloth but I just use gauze I have a lot of gauze here in the house a lot of it and I use some of this fiber stamp out my image stained it's sewn on and same thing here index cards little little things that I just leave around as a thank you or send in as a little birthday gift people seem to enjoy them and there's quite a few I have made here this is just a leftover paper I put some graph paper inside. This, I believe, was stapled in here. It wasn't sewn. Oh, yeah, it was sewn. I have ones that are stapled. I gessoed the inside, not the outside. So it gives it a little bit of a tooth. If someone uses a marker, it makes it just different texture. One little signature there. Then I have this one. I don't, I'm, I pre make them and decorate as I go. Sometimes I just leave them plain and let other people decorate. But they're really fun to make, fun to give away. Great way to use up all those pages. Shoe polish is quite cheap. It's about $3 for a bottle. It goes a long, long way. Here I stamped out that. Really fun. Fun to make, fun to use. Something fun I can do late at night when I watch my mom. And it's quiet work. So the rest of the house can rest because she doesn't sleep at night anymore. So some of the things that I can do easily and quietly. And here are some of my naked ones, meaning they've just been stained and sewn, ready to get those pages, uh, index cards put in. So as you can see, that's just one of the things that you can make. Isn't that fun? The other thing I make is this little envelope here that I showed on my channel last year out of book pages, quite easy to do. It's not a, uh, a die, it's I'm made by hand. I also make these little flowers, which I show in a minute, and this is all stained with shoe polish, and then I stamped out the Tiffany & Co. stamp there. There's a plain one. And I use this for little notes gift card holders. Just really fun way to gift out anything. This is my last one of this envelope. It's um, got Inca gold all around. It's got the flower. It's got the gauze, piece of fabric. It's sewn. 
and it's also magnetized. You can hear that. Really old looking. I love inserting these in my journals, and this is my last one here, but I wanted to show as a sample. And then I wanna show all the flowers that I've been making, which is just three easy uh, sizes of the flower. I raised them up by using fun foam, and then I, inter I uh, insert some of that fiber that you see glistening there. But these are all the ones. I also use no no music notes. All this is shoe polished up. Dimensional, can be used in many ways. And I just have a lot of them here, ready to go for any project that needs a flower in a quick minute. Then I wanna show you guys what I do with napkins, because I've been asked, what do I do with all those napkins? There's so many ways to use them. As you can see, I used them here on this book. A lot of fun to do. Hope you guys try that out. And this envelope. But some of the things you can make are tags. As everyone knows, you can make envelopes. You can, I've shown that on my channel last year. Um, and you can do book pages and so on, but you can sew on index card. That's a piece of a napkin that didn't go into a project, but I saved. Here's a napkin here that's been sewn. It's on music note. And this could be a pocket in a book. It could be a tag. It could be anything, really. Here's one here that's been sewn and torn and a large index card put on the back for journaling. And that's quite a few of these were made that way. Love all the sewing different stitches on these. You can tell, really fun. So people out there who like to sew, this is just a different way of putting in that texture. Beautiful napkin on an index card. And they're really fun to make. This is just quiet work for me. It doesn't take much um, to sit down and just do these. I, on my channel, I also show how it's really easy to separate these napkins. Quite a few people ask how I separate them out. It's quite easy. The music notes, there's always a three ply to a napkin and you can just score the corner and tear it off. It's quite easy. So if you revert back to my channel, you'll find that out there. Here's another napkin on graph paper. This one right here is a parchment paper. You can't see it right now, but that image you see here, it was embossed on the parchment paper. And the uh, parchment paper was mod podged on book paper. And I sewed it on. I just liked the texture and the sound and got to put all that stamping and use that piece of parchment that way. Didn't go to waste. And here's some more of those napkins. Really fun. So check out your napkin stash, you guys. Look at all the fun things you could be making and used in your lovely journals and books, planners. This could be an easy card that you can put in an envelope and write your note. I also use watercolor paper, which is a lot of fun. Here's one that hasn't been sewn, but is on used paper, on music paper. And here one is one on music note. It has not been sewn. I just have a quite a few of these made up, ready to go. Isn't that fun? Look at this one. Really pretty on some music note. And then I stamped out the Tiffany & Co. on these. And this is for an upcoming altered book that I'm making of a um, peacock. Really, really pretty. So you guys try your hand at these napkin art. So much fun. Then I also have um, these pieces of music notes that are cut up and I save everything because these books sometimes cost a lot of money. And I made these images, stickled it, some gauze, some fiber, tore the edges, added a prima flower with some tickets, and this is ready to be a pocket in a book is what this is. So if I, let me just grab this book right here. This is a soft cover book I made into a journal really pretty and use my coffee stained images in it but this can be easily a pocket right here and a tuck spot right there see that's how that would be used but this also can be used as a front to a cover of a, of a note card so that's really fun I got this image here really really fun 
lot of sewing, texture, tickets, leftover things that I've been making for pocket letters. Isn't that cute? So don't throw away your leftovers, you guys. Everything can be used. You just have to think outside the box. These are all pockets, tech spots, uh, top covers to cards and notes. Super pretty. Here I have sewing, deco edge on the edge here. A punch out love that's a leftover. All these are leftovers. Prima flower, some scrap of lace, image. It could be a drawing spot or it can be a pocket or a cover to a card. Same with here. And then I got these ones here, little tags. And here are some pockets ready to go and get ready to be decorated. So these were gonna go on the side like that into a book. I make several of those. Really fun to play with that. And then I have all these envelopes. These right here, these last two, I sewed it onto muslin, make it more durable give it some thickness and it's just waiting to be stained and decorated per project. But I just make a bunch of these up, have them on hand, ready to go. And here's a little tag. So see, use your pages from your books. If you guys are doing altered books, those um, items can come in handy in many ways. Music notes, images, a little flower. It can go a long way to make something really super pretty. And it doesn't have to cost that much and it's adorable I just love it what do you guys think hope this helps to all the ones that have been asking hope you guys go out and try your hand at it it's a wonderful wonderful project thanks so much everyone for stopping by take good care bye bye